Taker, how do you feel like you guys responded uh, so far, just the team in general after the game on Saturday? Uh, we had a pretty good practice yesterday. You know, it was kind of a uh, get, get to recover day. Still walk through, still learn some of the uh, principles of what Oklahoma State's doing. Uh, it was nice. It was focused. Uh, everybody was still locked in. Uh, everybody on this team still cares. You know, we still got a lot of games left. A lot to uh, do. A lot of things. So everybody cares, and we uh, just keep fighting right now. Make some things happen. You feel like there are some common threads into what those slow starts were in both of those games last week. Uh, of course, me. I had some turnovers early in both games. So for me, just uh, handling the ball more, uh, being more of a leader on the court, uh, and can't have those early turnovers just to start the game like that for us. Uh, but otherwise than that, it's just uh, we're capable. We know we always go back on that run every time and get us within five, three, two, and every game. It's always that one point, that uh, critical point that we just got to get over that hump. Were you kind of cramping, or what, what was going on with you on Saturday? Uh, just got hit in a funny place, you know, uh, from a previous injury. So you're good. Good yeah. to go now. Bex, I don't know if you've heard this, but Tyrese is going to miss the rest of the year with a broken wrist. I'm just curious as to if you guys compete pretty hard against each other. Oh, just what were your thoughts? Uh, sad to hear that. You know, he's a great player with a bright future ahead of him. Uh, hopefully he can um, just recover fast from the injury. You talk about the slow starts. What is maybe the key or something you guys can do a little bit better to stop the bleeding earlier and get that run going quicker? Uh, like I said, of course, just not turning the ball over uh, so early for me as well as um, other teammates uh, right now. But just uh, just being more aggressive on offensive end too. You know, uh, also not breaking down the defense, getting the uh, team, let team get easy buckets uh, early on has kind of been our um, down ball right now. So just getting back in transition, uh, playing a defense that I know we're capable of, and I think we'll be able to uh, stop the slow starts. What, what do you think about you know facing a team that's kind of on similar playing field as you guys in terms of Big 12 record? I mean, just kind of fighting. Uh, is, is it pride at this point? I guess, what, what are you fighting for in this game? Uh, every game means something, you know. Uh, still, no matter what no, uh, what situation we're in, uh, coming out just to uh, focus, prefer getting a win against Oklahoma State. What about just them getting there? You know, last week they got their first Big 12 win. <laughs> competed against Baylor, I mean, do you feel like they might be kind of on the uprise? Uh, they're definitely going to be a fight and scrappy team. Like you said, they had a, a good game against Baylor, number one Baylor. So, of course, they're going to be fired up and ready to come out here uh, to play against us just to be eager, even get another win. So, and of course, we will too. You've obviously done many great things in your career, Xavier. I, I was curious, once, once you move on, where do you see this program going? It sounds, sounds like you guys have a, have a great recruiting class coming next year. Uh, I see nothing uh, but uh, a bright future. You know, we got a lot of guys, uh, young guys this, in this uh, group we have here that uh, have done a lot of good things here and still uh, have room for improvement. And of course, the recruiting class that coaches brought in have a lot of great kids from uh, that can do a lot of different things. So I feel like those guys will be able to do good things. I know it's been two days, but what was coach really emphasizing during those first two timeouts he called in Ohio State? Uh, you know, just keeping our poise. You know, uh, of course, trying to stop stop the break as well for him. Uh, but just just relax, you know. Uh, we know Hilton is always a rowdy place for us to go into. They have a great fan base there, too. Uh, so we knew it was going to get loud, get rowdy. So we just, just keeping our poise, keeping our calm, and going out there executing what he has to say. I guess, Axel, what, what did you feel like Cardi did well to have the game that he did on Saturday? I mean, he scored the ball tremendously well, you know. Uh, I think, what, 24 or something like that. So anytime you get 20 or more, you know, it's, it's a great it's a great night for you no matter how many you get or how you get it. Uh, he's just uh, being aggressive. That's something I'm talking about. Just be more aggressive, man. Go out there and play your game. It'll be right. I haven't asked what made you go with the new hairstyle. <laughs> just trying some new stuff, you know. Imagine not being a Kawhi yeah. fan. Yeah. Definitely that too, though. So, you know, <laughs> a couple of people saying young Kawhi, so. <laughs> That's what I thought when I first saw it. What does it say about this team's defense that you guys lead the Big 12 in steals per game? Uh, showing that we're still a scrapper, still a uh, still a defensive-minded team that we are. Uh, just just doing that and keeping that being consistent at that and, and getting some more uh, key and critical stops at the time we need to. I feel like we can do a better job of just uh, exploiting that defense. Anything else for Coach Taylor? Uh, thanks, Zach. Thanks, Zach.